it's officially several days later and I am ready to try these all on. Uh, it's going to be a lot of work, but I'm ready for it because I'm super excited to see how they fit. Um, I did get warned by the girl that works at Sportcheck that Nike tends to fit a little bit tighter so that a medium might not actually fit and that I should have went up to a large. But just for reference, I did a size medium for every single bra that I'm trying on today. Um, so then you do kind of realize like, is this going to be too tight? And then you can judge off that. Okay, so $416.90. Okay, I've done some damage. How much damage? Yeah. Uh, I can't see it. Oh yeah, $416.90. Puke. So anyways, I got a lot of items though. I'm so excited. And this was on sale. Originally $40 on for $10. And it's Fox Racing, so anything Fox I'm going to buy. There's just a little tank top. I'm super excited about this, so. That, and that's the only regular thing I bought. Everything else was sports bras. So this is the Nike Swoosh bra. It has this mesh detail, which is really cute. Um, it's medium to high support, which is kind of nice. And the back is really cute. It's like that, crisscrossy. Um, the only thing that I have a complaint about is based on the color, you can really see the boob pads in this. I don't know if you can tell in this video, but you can definitely see them in person and in the like daylight. So that's an automatic no for me, but if it came in like a darker color, um, I would definitely keep it. So really cute, but yeah, the boob pads makes this a no. This is the Nike Indie Bra, which is really nice. It's very comfortable. Definitely more boobish. Uh, I don't feel like I would fall out though if I was like jumping or exercising. So that's a plus. So it's just enough to be kind of cute, but not enough to actually pour out. And the back is just kind of regular, nothing fancy. Um, but I like it. I think this is the one I have in black already. I've had for a while and I really do enjoy it. Um, the only thing is like this strap is pretty tight, like I find for a medium. Um, but I definitely feel like with the strap being tighter, uh, I could do more like high intensity. So I like this one. I will keep this one. This is Under Armour and it's from their Heat Gear um, line. I just, I don't love it. It has the look of it being very supportive, but it's not supportive. So it's just like, I don't know. It's kind of like frumpy and big. I don't find it overly cute. The band is really comfortable though. Like it doesn't like suck you in or anything, but it also doesn't feel like it's holding anything. So that's kind of like a positive and a negative. Uh, and the back's kind of normal. Doesn't blow me away or anything. And I mean, for $50, definitely not worth it and not cute enough. If you do like this one though, it does come in other colors. So I also got, ah, I also got black, which is kind of cute. And then it does come in this blue color, which is also really nice if you were like tan and stuff. So I mean, there are other options if you just don't like the color. But again, I didn't like love the fit, but it was comfortable. So make your decisions. So this is the mid-impact armor bra from Under Armour. Um, medi like it says mid-impact, but it's really, I don't know, it's not doing much for me. Uh, this kind of like strap tends to give me like a migraine because it's so thick and heavy just like right in my trap area. So I uh, try to avoid thick straps, but for people that don't, I mean, it's definitely cute. It does show the boob pads like very prominently, which again bugs me. And the back is that crisscross from before. So. I mean, it's it's nice. It's all right, but I don't know. Oh, what, how much was this? Oh, forty dollars. So it's not like super expensive, but I find this. Um, what do you call it? This is a medium, and this strap kind of like it, it's not fully staying under my boobs, so I find it's kind of like awkwardly like hanging out. I don't know. It's not great. Now this is this is a new. This one I think is really cute, but I'm semi disappointed because it's like. It's kind of longer, which I really like. It's different. The straps are so cute with the little detail. It's kind of different than any other one, which is nice. Um, what is this called? This is the Indie Bra, again, but it says light support, which, no kidding. The only thing, it was really hard to get on, so I felt like I was like struggling, struggling, and then all of a sudden it like releases, but I'm like, now I'm sweaty because I put this on and it was a lot of work. Um, I don't know. I just... I'm so back and forth. I really like it. Like, it's cute, but let's see. $48. Uh, I'm going to think about it. So I'm neutral. Update, I'm no longer neutral. I went in the daylight, and these boo pads are probably the worst one out of any bra I've ever, ever seen. So you probably can't tell in this, or maybe you can. I'll find out later when I'm editing this. But 
Oh my goodness. So if boob po boob pods. If boob pads bother you, definitely not the color for you. But the fit, I'd probably get another color. So that's my advice. I decided to save the most unique one for last. So this is the Nike um, Indie Bra collection. It's $55, so it's a little bit hefty, but it does up in the front, which I really like. And without being too exposing here, um, it goes, it has like this little strap. I'll try to show you as best as possible. Um, it has this little clip here, so you do that, and then you zip it up, and it has like this double strap. And then the back is kind of cool. Do, do, do. Like, I haven't seen anything like that, so that's pretty neat. Um, yeah, I don't know, it's, it's like, not the most comfortable thing. I'm not gonna say that. But, I, and again, I'm, I don't know, it probably just depends on the size of your boobs, obviously. But, this bottom strap is, like, it's not sitting against my skin. So, it's kind of just, like, half on my skin, half on my boobs, which really bothers me. Because then I find that it's just very low impact for me. So not ideal because I really, really like doing like high intensity workouts and stuff like that's my main, it's my jam. So I probably wouldn't wear this bra for this. Um, the color's just not me. The color's really cute, don't get me wrong. Just not something that goes well with my skin tone, I don't believe. Okay guys, so that is the end of this haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Overall, I wasn't blown away by the quality or the colors or really the fit of any of these. Um, I will link everything below. Um, but my honest opinion is like there was a few that I really did think were cute, but I mean they're pretty steep in price like for what you're getting. So I kind of want to just be honest with you about that. Um, anyways, if you haven't subscribed already, hit that button below because I upload new videos every single week. Um, and I will see you next week.